Congressman and gubernatorial candidate Jim Gibbons is facing more tough questions tonight on a whole new issue than the one that was alleged a few days ago where he was accused of having assaulted a woman. We've been talking about that for more than a week, but this is something that Channel 8 I-Team is breaking right now. These new questions revolve around an illegal immigrant whom Gibbons and his wife Dawn employed as their housekeeper and babysitter. The woman says she worked for the Gibbons for years and the family occasionally made her hide in the basement to keep her illegal status a secret. George Knapp of the Channel 8 I team here now with the exclusive story on all this, George. Dave and uh, Paula, it's illegal to knowingly employ an undocumented alien. It's also illegal to employ such a person, pay them under the table, and then fail to pay employer taxes. Patricia Pastor Sandoval says she worked for Jim Gibbons and his wife Dawn for several years, starting in 1987, and that the families tried to cover it up. It's a story pregnant with political implications. No, I'm, I'm, I don't like hurt nobody because I'm Christian, but I read the newspaper about him, he, he's um, about the immigration. Patricia Pastor Sandoval there. says one reason she's Anna? talking about her previous relationship with Jim and Don Gibbons Jim is Gibbons because of the statements Gibbons has made during Jim his campaign Gibbons. about to getting tough illegal with illegal immigrants. My record puts me at the forefront of border and homeland security. After all, she was an illegal herself. Sandoval, who's Peruvian, says she entered the U.S. in 1984 by hiding in the trunk of a car as it crossed over from Tijuana. She got a job cleaning this sprawling house on the outskirts of Reno. When the Gibbons family bought the house in 1987, she stayed on. I clean the house. Uh, sometimes I cook, but most I take care of Jimmy, the baby. In the beginning, she says, no one asked about her legal status, but it became abundantly clear the Gibbons family knew she was not here legally since they often asked her to hide when certain people came to the house. She told me when somebody come to the home, don't answer the door, not, don't say nothing, because I'm, my husband is running I think for that time for assembly you know, I don't want to know. One time when I was home she told me the newspapers uh, somebody's come to home and go downstairs and, and not, not come here until they left and I was downstairs take care of Jimmy. Downstairs in what? What's downstairs? Oh uh, it's like a basement. They uh, ask you to go to the basement? Yeah. Uh -huh. The issue of Patty's immigration status came to public attention once before in 1995 when Sandoval wrote to the Gibbons family to request verification of her previous employment, which had ended in 1993. Dawn Gibbons told the newspaper she considered this an extortion attempt, so she filed a police complaint. Mrs. Gibbons told a reporter, quote, she said she wanted me to sign a letter saying she worked for me. I told her I can't lie. Dawn Gibbons insisted Sandoval had never worked for the family. I Sandoval, fearing she might be deported, backed Tijuana, off from her information in request. In the police complaint went nowhere. Now, however, she's obtained legal status and isn't so worried about talking. What's more, she can prove she worked for several years for the family. One form of proof are the many photos taken over years inside the Gibbets' home at special events such as the baptism of her own daughter, snapshots at the Sandoval home where Dawn Gibbons dropped off her son to be babysat. In 1991, when Jim Gibbons returned from the Gulf War, he invited Patty and her husband to the state legislature. Their names were mentioned on the floor and are part of the official record. Patty says she spent most of that day walking the Gibbons baby around the hallways. With busy up-and-comers for parents, young Jimmy spent more time with Patty than anyone. He even came to call her Mama, Sandoval says. But there's more. Beginning in 1988, the Gibbons family tried to help Patty obtain legal status. These documents, never made public before, were signed by Don Gibbons under penalty of perjury. In the papers, it's made clear that everyone knew Sandoval was an undocumented worker. The documents indicate she'd worked for the Gibbons family since 1987, cooking, cleaning, and babysitting. The government files also contain an employment contract signed by Don Gibbons guaranteeing to pay Sandoval $800 a month. Patty says that's what she was paid from the beginning, always in cash. It's every two weeks. Uh -huh. And was, how, uh, did you get a check? No, cash. Cash? Yes. Did they take taxes out of that for anything? No. I calculated $800 a month 
at 10 hours a day. That is 50 hours a week, a minimum of 200 hours a month, which is about $4 an hour, plus the fact that Social Security was not paid, disability was not paid, workers' compensation was not paid, taxes weren't paid. I think the Gibbons got a very good deal for very low money. Immigration yeah, attorney back, Vincenta okay. Montoya says since 1986, federal law been. requires employers to verify the immigration status of employees and that the documents leave no doubt the Gibbons family knew Patty was an illegal, but kept her working anyway. Dawn Gibbons tried to do the right thing, she says, by filing papers to help Patty get legal, but that application does not get them off the legal hook for employing an undocumented worker. Montoya, See, who admits she's a staunch letter. Democrat and thinks I Jim Gibbons' strong statements about Congress immigration enforcement are simply at odds with what he's done in his personal life. And I think it shows that he is a hypocrite. And the bill that he voted for would subject him to felony provisions of that law because he is, quote, helping somebody who is undocumented or did that in the past. He needs to explain why at one particular point in time he hired somebody who was undocumented and he now has a stance of criminalizing those people, which is the true Jim Gibbons. Just a couple of minutes ago, we received a printed statement from Dawn Gibbons. I'm going to try to summarize some of that for you. The Gibbons family says basically they tried to help Patricia Sandoval for a time, they're told, but only with occasional odd jobs that she was not a full-time employee, contrary to what was stated in those federal documents. What's more, Sandoval allegedly demanded money from the family in exchange for keeping her mouth shut. She threatened in letters and phone calls, Dawn Gibbons says, to take her story to the media and to embarrass Mr. Gibbons during his political campaigns. The Gibbons camp supplied us with letters written by Sandoval in 1997 and 2001 in which she apologizes for, quote, all the bad things that I did to you, blaming it in part on bad advice she received from attorneys. Mm -hmm. We'll have more on this part of the story in subsequent newscasts. As I said, uh, we just received this statement a couple of minutes ago. And then coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, John Ralston will be here to talk about the political side of this. And obviously, there are political mm -hmm. ramifications. Mm -hmm. Sure. The Gibbons say they paid her in clothing and food. Does that count as lawful or unlawful payment? Uh, you know, I'm not a lawyer on this, but what we were told is it makes no difference. If you're working for a job and you're getting compensated, whether it's food or clothing or shelter or whatever, it counts as pay. So if she was, in fact, working for them, that constitutes mm -hmm. employment and uh, under the law. And on that political side, there are those who are going to say that she was put up to this to hurt his campaign. You know, yeah, uh, I, I think uh, we will. We have acknowledged that uh, that she was contacted by some political operatives, and that uh, obviously there are there is an ability to exploit this story mm. for political gain. I guess you have to ask two things: one is is it true, mm -hmm. and it sure looks like it's true, and then two. Why is it coming out now? Uh, Jim Gibbons has been out in front talking about immigration issues since the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, in a sense, I think it's fair to ask these questions. Thank you, George. Sure. We'll Thanks, see George. you at five or at six.